Hi everyone and welcome to SWPL My Story and today we are joined by heart striker Katie Lockwood. How are you Katie? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm great and thanks so much for joining us today. So uh, a bit of a, a change for you, moving across the city at the start of the season from Hibs across the Hearts, um, but both teams are, are doing very well uh, this season at this point. So how have you found that adjustment to, to joining another team? Yeah, obviously it was a, a different move for me, but we had a lot of other new players coming in, so it, it helped me um, adjust very quickly and all the girls were very welcoming, so it made it quite an easy move actually. Yeah, there's been a bit of a overhaul of personnel at Hearts, but we're starting to see that now. There's maybe a little bit of inconsistency <laughs> the first part of the season, but it seemed to be hitting a real run of form at the moment. Um, and that just goes to show in, on the league table. And it is so tight in that area for at the moment for fourth place between yourselves, Hibs and Partick. But it seems like the, the management team have really got his gelled. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, it took a little bit of time when you've got new people, new personalities. Um, but now I think we've really hit the ground running and we understand each other and we've found a way of playing that works for us. And for you personally, you are, you are banging in the goals. You were SWPL Team of the Week. You were the star player as well. You got your four goals against Hamilton and uh, myself, formerly a striker. Uh, it was great to get all the different types of goals which you demonstrated in that match against Hamilton. Yeah, of course. I mean, I couldn't have done it without my teammates because some of them were put on a plate for me. But um, yeah, it's always nice to score and feel like I'm contributing towards the team and the three points. Now, when yeah, it's been quite a fragmented season with all the international breaks, um, maybe at times for Hearts they came at the right time and then they come at the wrong time. But at the moment, as as we say, it is really tight for that that fourth place battle between the the three teams. Uh, we, we've got our international break at the moment. You will have your game coming up this weekend and then you'll get your run into the, the winter break. So um, do you think it's it's helped you being able to identify specific games and do it in smaller chunks at this first half of the season? Yeah, I mean, like you say, sometimes they come at the good time and sometimes they come at the wrong time. I think the last couple of breaks, we've seemed to hit the ground running and then we hit a break and we have a blank weekend. But um no, I think it's good because it allows us to, you know, look back at the last performances and look at where we really need to work on and um, put that into a game plan for the next game. And I think especially this week, we've got Partick at the weekend, which is obviously a really important game. It's a must win, really, um, to stay in that battle for fourth and higher. But um, yeah, I think it's allowed us to work on some things and fine tune a lot of areas. It's a real project they've got going on at Hearts. Obviously, it's been going on for, for quite a while, but... The decision to to go to full time status and it's probably attracted other players that may have overlooked Hearts in the past. Um, but I think it's the long term plan for the club to try and bridge that gap up to the up to the top three at the moment. And I would never write Glasgow City off, but they seem to have tailed off a little bit at this moment in time from the the two teams at the top and closer down to the the chasing pack. As I say, in yourselves, Hibs and in party, but is that something as a squad that you feel you can bridge that gap and uh, try and get yourselves involved in the mix near the top of the league? Yeah, absolutely. I think that was the goal um, at the start of the season. I think, you know, in spells, we have proved we can compete with the top three. You know, we got a draw against Glasgow. We've had a close game with Rangers and Celtic, but I think the key for us is consistency and being able to perform at that level every single week and not let our performances drop. Because, I mean, I think that's how the top three teams do it week in, week out. So um, that's the aim for us. I mean, you know, it's we got a draw against Glasgow and we were happy with that. But then the week later we lose to Hibs. So it's it's really finding that consistency and the balance in the group um, to be able to perform at that level every single week, I think. But that is the, the goal. And I think we are working well towards that. Um, so we just need to keep going, really. Now, since your move to Hearts, you seem to have really slotted in uh, very well. You're playing with confidence, you're, you're scoring goals consistently, which which is massive. And obviously for the squad as well, looking around the dressing room and um, as a striker, they're, they're looking to you to spearhead that attack. But what are, what are your aims? What is it you'd like to personally achieve this season, uh, having done so well already, but there's still a long way to go? 
Yeah, I think for me at the start of the season, it was really just about enjoying my football and, you know, so far I'm doing that. And I think you can see that in my performances. I'm playing with a lot of confidence. I've, you know, slightly had my role adjusted this year, so I'm playing a little bit deeper in the midfield. But, you know, I know that I can add goals to my game and, you know, it's about I want to work on the all-round part of my game as well and, you know, just feel like I'm helping the team in any way I can. And I think at the moment I feel really valued and you can see that in my performances and, you know, how I'm enjoying it with the teammates around me. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a happy player at the minute. <laughs> well, that's great, <laughs> Katie. And I really appreciate you joining us today and hearing how you feel the season's going. Thank you for having me. And thanks, everyone, for joining us on SWPL My Story. <laughs>